Hi all, and welcome to a quick week Aura's tutorial on how to get some rotation and cooldown icons in the middle of your screen. By the end of this video, you should hopefully be able to set up something similar to what I have here for my Fire Mage, with a few icons for basic abilities, a few icons for important cooldowns, and a few icons showing you when important buffs are missing. I just disabled my old setup, so let's try and recreate what we had before from scratch. The spells I want to have icons for are Mirror Image, Cone of Cold, Link, and Altar Time. I also want an icon that'll always tell me if I don't have Molten Armor on, and an icon that'll tell me in combat when my evocation buff expires so I can renew it right away. So let's start by making an icon for Cone of Cold. Type slash wa to open the Wii config window, then hit new, and then hit icon. I'm gonna name this one Cone of Cold Cooldown 2, because I already have one called Cone of Cold Cooldown. First, we have to tell the game when to load it. I want it to load in combat. I want it to load when I'm a mage, and I want it to load when I'm on fire. Then we have to tell the game the trigger. The trigger I'm going to use is status, the cooldown progress of a spell, and the spell I want is Cone of Cold. Next, we want it to display the cooldown of Cone of Cold, so we hit the cooldown button. But instead of going from dark to light, you want it to go from light to dark, like the default blizzard cooldowns, so I'm going to hit inverse. I also wanted to display the cooldown text, so I'm going to change this field to percent %p. But instead of the text being in the bottom right, I want it to be in the center, and I want it to be a little bigger. I also want to change the precision, and then make the whole icon a little smaller. Finally, I can move it to where I want it, or if I want to move it more precisely, I can use these input fields. I'm going to use negative 23 and negative 90. Let's take a look at what we've created so far. This icon shows the cooldown of Cone of Cold, but it'll disappear once the spell is off cooldown, so we're gonna need another icon to do that. It's very similar to the previous one, so we can just hit duplicate, and call this one Cone of Cold 2. All we have to do is hit trigger, and hit inverse, then go to display, and change this field back to percent %s. This tells Weakor that it should show this icon when the spell is not on cooldown. Now when we test this out in combat, we see that we have a Cone of Cold icon with a cooldown indicator, much like your regular action bars. To get this for more spells, all we have to do is hit duplicate on each of these, change the trigger to be another spell, and then move these wherever we want so they're not overlapping the old spells. I also want an icon to show me that Molten Armor's not on. I want to know before the pull, so I'm not going to hit in combat, but I'm still a mage, and I'm still fire. The trigger we're going to use is Aura, and the Aura we're going to use is Molten Armor. Because I want to know when the buff isn't on me, I'm going to hit Inverse. For display, unfortunately we have to choose the icon manually, but it's usually pretty easy to find. I made the icon a little smaller and put it in the corner, and now, as long as I don't have the Molten Armor buff, it'll always tell me. I've also duplicated my Molten Armor icon to get a similar Invoker's Energy icon up here, except it only loads in combat because it's a combat buff. If I also wanted to show the remaining duration of the Invoker's Energy buff, I could just duplicate this, name it something like Invoker Duration, get rid of the inverse and the trigger, and add a cooldown to the display. Adding text would be the same way as before by changing this field to percent %p. Here's the end result of all that work, with my big ignite down here to round out my Fire Mage UI, as well as need to know on the side. I hope you enjoy making an awesome weak aura setup for your favorite class, and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this guide. Thanks for watching.